guys, I'm Jasmine, and today I'm bringing you guys a wig review. This is the Mato Mato Clio 024 in the color 1B, and it's basically just a straight bang wig. I'll have the links to this wig down below, but we're going to hop right into trying this wig on, so check it out. Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a kind of review of this wig that I've been wearing for the past couple of months. In total, I've probably worn this wig at least 10 times. And it is the... What does that say? I know it's a Clio wig. I think it's the KL024 in 1B. And it's pretty much just a long straight wig with a bang on it. But yeah, I've been rocking this wig outside in public. I should have did a first impressions video, but... I digress. The first time I wore it, it was one of those days where I could not find any wig that looked right on me and I was rushing and I was like, I just need something quick so I tossed it on and it worked. So I was like, bet, you know? <laughs> I actually do need to buy some more wigs for just going out the house because when those times come, I'm always so unprepared. This wig has one comb kind of up here, one comb up here, and then one in the back, and then it also has the adjustable strap. Oh my gosh. So yeah, I've worn this wig at least 10 times outside. I have worn this to a WWE Smackdown because I do watch wrestling with my fiance and some of his friends, which was a lot of fun. Like going to WWE Smackdown was so lit. It was so much freaking fun. Hope my eyelash not coming off. Y'all know I'm trying those magnetic eyelashes. I have a little video I did with those that I will link, but sometimes it does tangle a little bit as far as shedding goes. I'm not gonna lie. Even though this is like a full cap wig, it does shed a little every time I brush it. It's truly unfortunate, but yeah, it definitely does shed a little bit. It's okay. I did wear this wig to my baby sister's surprise party. Well, her she threw a surprise party for her boyfriend. That was a lot of fun, and we did dance a decent amount. I danced standing up as well as in a, in my chair and I did sweat some. The bangs actually held up okay, which I was surprised about. I was actually very concerned by the end of the night because I'm like, man, I know these bangs got to be messed up, but they actually didn't look that bad when I got home. If you guys don't know, I do dance and chicken head a lot. <laughs> I am definitely a chicken header. Y'all can't see it. Y'all can't see it. I will say it probably doesn't look as right because my hair is not properly braided all the way down. But for the sake of this video, it's fine. It's fine. I don't really like the top. I don't really like the way that looks though. But it's fine. Obviously, people will know it's a wig. I'm not gonna lie to you. It did. It was. It's good for what I needed to do. A lot of times, let me see if I can show you guys. Is my eyelash coming off and ish? That's the only thing about, and I want to say, I wore a pair of these eyelashes when I went out. I, I'm gonna have to tell y'all. I'm gonna have to tell y'all in another video, but they embarrassed me. I'm gonna just say that. As far as the wig go, it is fine. Is it big head friendly? I'm gonna say debatable because I do have somewhat of a big head. I have an apple shaped head. My hair is not properly braided down, however. As far as big head friendly goes, I don't think so. Um, I kinda don't like I kinda don't like the combs in the front, and you kinda have to wear the combs to secure it. Yes, you could probably add in a strap or like a some bobby pins, but I feel like that's gonna be doing too much. I have to wear the combs otherwise. The wig will probably shift if I'm being real with y'all. I honestly, if you don't mind wearing a bang wig where, in my opinion, I feel like most bang wigs do look wiggy unless you get ones that are kind of more on the pricier side. And it's also just the placement of this part too, or the way it looks. The bang placement is also very important. However, it's cute though. It's a vibe. I will still wear this wig out the house, regardless if people can tell if it's a wig or not. I normally wear it like this. 
I don't know. I just like the way this looks. And I put like a bobby pin here and one here sometimes or clip or something. But I like the way that looks because it looks good to me. I've also, let me find a scrunchie real quick so I can show y'all something else that I do. Another thing that I like to do is I will, you know, pull out some hair on the sides, yeah. And... I'll pull some hair back like this and put it in like a little ponytail situation or sometimes I'll even pull all the hair back except for the strands and I'll rock it like this and it actually ends up looking pretty cute to me in my opinion. That's how I wear most of my bang wigs but it's cute. Um, It probably hits me like kind of at my nip. <laughs> Keep in mind, I'm double D'd up, and I'm 5'3 up, you know? I am 5'3. It still hurt my feelings when my doctor was like, you're barely 5'4. She was like, you're definitely 5'3, because all this time I thought I was 5'4. She was like, girl, no. Did you have your shoes on? Not too much, doc, okay? Well, actually, it was one of the nurses. The nurse ate me up when it came to my height. <laughs> um, I vibe with the wig, though. I like it. I need to get some more definition in my shoulders, girl. It's a, it's a cute little wig to just throw on and go. That's what I use it for. Again, I've worn this wig probably 10 times over the course of probably like maybe since February. And this is the first time of me wearing the wig on camera. And yeah, it's okay. And it's cheap. I, that's the, uh, that's another reason why I'm like, you know what? It's not a bad idea if you want to grab this wig. Because at the time that I bought this wig, I think I paid $13.99 or something like that. It was very cheap. And I'll leave some links down below to where you guys can get this wig as well. I really don't, I really don't mind the way that it looks. Also, if y'all want my Tiana brush, I'll leave it linked down below in the description box but yeah see i like it like that it's it's cute i like the way it looks it's not doing too too much but it's it's just enough for me and it's affordable i feel like i could probably rock this wig on and off for the rest of the year and i would be fine um yeah it's just so much shedding though i will say it does shed quite a bit but keep in mind i am pulling at it a little bit but yeah it's okay it's an okay wig to wear when you want to just throw in something and go if you don't have anything to grab if you need something really quick to just pop on and head out the house but I hope you guys enjoyed this video review. Let me know if you guys would rock this wig. If you guys don't know of any recommendations of some great straight bang wigs, please let me know in the comments down below because I'm always looking for one that looks cute while I'm out and about. Make sure y'all check out my other wig reviews. I'll leave them linked on the screen as well as in the description box below. But stay blessed, stay positive. I'll be seeing you again soon.